Hello, dear friends. This is Mohamed Zafrani from Style Italiano and Bontings. And today, it's my pleasure to be with you live from Milan in the boot camp, speaking about the S-shaped curvatures and multiplanar curvature. The objective of full canal treatment is to prevent periapical infections or to promote healing of periapical infection if present. And this comes through biological and mechanical objectives. The mechanical objectives is to mechanically deprive the vital or nucleotic pulp tissue from the root canal system while maintaining the site and integrity of the apical foramen. During these procedures, any heterogenic error should be avoided. And these things are quite challenging while preparing S-shaped canals or S-shaped curvatures. The challenge factors are to the nature to me and that might be the easy code and the easy or easy s shaped canals it's always related or the main concern here is the radius of curvature if the radius of curvature is big enough or large enough this will allow our instruments to safely shape the canals but if you can see in the x-ray on the left here we have small radius of curvature so we have much stresses on our instrument so an instrument fatigue might happen let's make it more simple if you are in a car and you want to go either this road or this road which one is easy i think the one on the left is easy because we have less radius of curvature so the car can go faster without any problem or less uh, possibility of accidents but on the right we have to go slow because going off road is much easier possibility of accidents is much easier but with the, the variety we have in, in instruments like active or passive cutting instruments uh, martensitic or austenitic alloys the motion either rotary or reciprocating there should be a way for managing the S-shaped curvatures. And the first step in managing S-shaped curvature is the knowledge. Knowing the anatomy, then good interpretation to uh, preoperative radiograph, then I'll, this will allow for uh, strategic planning to the sequence so we will have, we'll be having a safer root canal preparation. Count down sequence or crown down technique is the safest technique for shaping root canals because we have less force or less stresses on the epically progressive files or in instruments. In the past, maybe eight years ago, I used to manage its shaped canals by hybridization using active and passive cutting in instruments. Active cutting in instruments, I'm using for initial phases of shaping, not to enlarge the canal apically because if i use it to enlarge the canal apically mostly i will end by a more straighter canal so i shifted to passive cutting an instrument for apical finishing but the problem with this file is that it is austenitic in nature and the word austenitic is that the file has a shape memory and by time and the file needs to regain its shape memory like we see in this file The file is bending and regain its original shape. Using this file inside the canal, it will make, as we see here, it will make uneven reduction because it will remove more dentine from the inner curve coronally and the outer curve apically and will allow or aid in canal transportation. With the presence nowadays of martensitic files, the files is more resistant to cyclic fatigue and more resistance to torsional fatigue also. So these files can go through curvature with this incidence of separation while maintaining the original anatomy of the canal. The file, which is Martin Setix. This is a file. This is an AF blue file from Fanta. The file is controlled memory. So the file will remain in the canal without any forces 
or any stresses inside the canal it will maintain the original anatomy of the canal with less incidence of separation let's see this curious series of cases from the paper to graph we can see clearly that we have an s-shaped curvature this is working length radiograph it was easy for planning in this case i use also the af blue from fanta which is more synthetic file i use the 25 taper four shorter of working length then i use the number 10 file k file for it competency followed by 20 25 30 and this was the final radiograph in this case we have two separated instruments I think the, uh, <laughs> these cases were intentionally broken. The two files were intentionally broken by the previous dentist. After removal, we took the working lens and we have a severely S-shaped curvature. We have a severely S-shaped curvature, which need strategic planning for safer shaping. This was the sequence, 20-25 taper 4, then 10-15 to the working lens, followed by 20, 25, 30 for apical finishing. And this was a final radiograph. The third case, we can see from the primitive radiograph, we have an S-shaped curvature with quite dilation apically. This is the work lens, and this case was so challenging. But the easy part of this case is that the canal coronary were quite large enough, only the apical third needed to be shaped. And to clean the corona part, I use this AF Max finisher to allow for better elegant control and more efficient irrigation. After corona and mid root preparation, only the epic enlargement was remaining. So I used 25 and 30 taper four files from a flu and they did a great job maintaining the original anatomy one trick i want to highlight here is that our handy files taken to four lengths were used only in watch winding motion no filing motion used here only watch winding to maintain the original bath this was my presentation hope you enjoy thank you and see you soon Thank you, Mohammed. Thank you for your presentation. And uh, and yes, yes, technology can really help, can make our life easier and more efficient.